you think the Premier League will miss Jose Mourinho? I think so. Uh, as you know very well, Mourinho won everything. Won uh, everywhere. So uh, I like him very much as a, as a coach and uh, as a as a man. But I think that uh, he is right when uh, he said that uh, Manchester has uh, a future without Mourinho, but uh, also Mourinho has a great future without Manchester. And uh, I like him very much, and uh, I'd like to see him on a bench as soon as possible. Maybe in England. Not here. <laughs> <laughs> How difficult a job will it be for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer? I don't know. I remember him very well uh, as a player. He was uh, really a very good player, but uh, I don't know him uh, as a coach. Uh, of course, the job will be difficult. Of course. But uh, I, I don't know him uh, well as a coach, and so I don't know. As far as Chelsea is concerned, do you have some injury concerns for uh, this weekend against Leicester? We have a little uh, problem uh, with uh, Christensen. A little injury to his uh, hamstring. And uh, the doctor yesterday told me that uh, it's not really very serious, but uh, he needs to rest uh, about for one week, I think. And so he has to rest now for one week. And, uh, we will miss him uh, for a couple of matches, I think. How important is Christensen to you as a player? Um, earlier in the season, his father was saying he wants to play more. Um, is it true that Chelsea rejected interest from Barcelona? From, from but uh, I think that uh, Barcelona yesterday announced uh, the new centre-back, so... Uh, but, did, did but uh, Christensen uh, for sure is out of the market at the moment. Uh, he's an important player for us. Uh, he didn't play very often uh, in uh, Premier League, but uh, he played uh, all uh, the other matches. Uh, he's very young and uh, he's very important. Uh, he, he will be more important than now in the future. The last two Premier League matches against Manchester City and against Brighton. You played without a recognised striker, no Giroud, no Morata. This week we learned Chelsea were interested in Callum Wilson. There's a suggestion that no, I don't Gonzalo know. Higuain could come. How I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know about uh, Wilson because, uh, as you know, Ed is a friend and uh, I want to see him very happy. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. Uh, we started in the last two matches uh, with Eden uh, as a striker. In the first match was, uh, was only a tactical uh, choice. Then uh, I wanted uh, to see that uh, the solution uh, can work uh, in all the situations or not. So I need uh, two, three matches uh, to be sure that uh, is the right solution. And uh, I explained uh, the, my point of view uh, to Giroud. Uh, we will see. Uh, at the moment, uh, this, the, 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 the solution is, is good, I think, uh, because uh, we played a very good match uh, against uh, City. And against uh, Brighton, I think that uh, we were very dangerous for 60 minutes. Then uh, we, we, we went in another uh, kind of match, uh, more physical, uh, not, not the, the best for us. Uh, we, I think that uh, 
we needed to kill the match before. And uh, I think that uh, my players thought that uh, the match uh, was under control, uh, the match uh, was uh, without problems. Uh, so we lowered the level of application and attention and uh, we entered uh, in another kind of match. We, we need uh, to avoid this because I think that on the pitch we, we, we have to think only to keep the match in that uh, situation. Are you thinking of, of doing the same against Leicester? With with Eden Hazard? Oh, I don't know at the moment. Uh, Giroud played for 90 minutes in the last match uh, three days ago. Uh, and Morata started uh, to, to have training with the, with the group only, only yesterday after 10 days. So I have, uh, I have uh, to decide. We will see in, in, the last, uh, in the last training. If you beat Leicester, you have 40 points. You told me on Sunday that you want 80 points to finish in the top four. How confident are you of getting that 80 points? It's not easy. 80 points uh, is, uh, is a very, very, very difficult average uh, points a match uh, because you have to do 2.2 points every match. And it's, uh, it's not easy in Premier League. Uh, to, to gain uh, uh, this average. Uh, I think that at the moment uh, we need only to think about uh, this match because uh, we have to play against dangerous opponents. Um, they are a technical team, but inside uh, there are two, three players uh, very fast. And so they, they are a mix uh, very, very dangerous. So we need to think only about this match because we need, I think, a, a good performance to gain uh, three points. OK, moving on. Liam, please. Mauricio, um, Gonzalo Higuain is someone that you worked with very well in Italy. Um, is he someone that you would like to work with again? But as you know, I like him uh, very much. Uh, he, he is a, a wonderful player. He is a, a wonderful man. But uh, I don't want to to, to talk about uh, Iguain because I, I have two uh, two strikers, or better, two and a half at the moment. Uh, and Gonzalo is playing in uh, AC Milan, so I think that. Uh, it's better not, not, to, not to talk about him at the moment. Have you seen enough now with the false nine system to be confident that it can work in all situations? I don't know. I don't know because I was sure uh, about the match against uh, City. Of course, uh, not about the result, but. Uh, that uh, with Hazard uh, in uh, that position uh, we could uh, do a, a good match, I was uh, quite sure. And then against Brighton uh, I started uh, to see this situation in different matches. And uh, now I want to see the same situation uh, in a home uh, uh, match uh, against uh, a team uh, very, very, very compact uh, in density, low, uh, we, have, we have to to see. OK, last two, Adam and then Matt. Maurizio, what is Eden Hazard's best position? Where is he most effective on the pitch, do you think? I think that uh, there isn't the best position uh, for Hazard. <coughs> Hazard uh, is a wonderful player uh, with a, a, a very high le level of... Uh, uh, imagination, and I think that uh, he need to be to let him uh, uh, free on the pitch. Uh, so I think that uh, there isn't uh, the right position for him. But uh, we we need uh, to have uh, a very high level of organization uh, in base uh, to his movements. 
Do but you still see Chelsea as Premier League title contenders? No, I never seen uh, Chelsea like a contender for the title uh, because as I, uh, I always uh, say that uh, at the moment there are two teams a step ahead of us. Maurizio, Ed, Edin last season expressed reservations about playing in the false nine position. He did not enjoy it. Is he enjoying it more now? He told me that uh, he likes very much to play there. So I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't here in the last season and uh, I don't know. I don't know why I then uh, told, uh, told it, but um, at the moment uh, he likes very much to play there. And just finally for me, um, Danny Drinkwater, what, what does he have to do to get any game time at all for, for Chelsea? But, uh, Danny is in the list for the Premier League, but uh, is uh, out of the list uh, in uh, Europe. Uh, I think that uh, he's a, a very good midfielder, but he is uh, suitable for uh, a midfielder with uh, with uh, two midfielders, because uh, with the three he is not uh, really a, a central midfielder. He is not uh, suitable to play center right or center left. So I think that uh, for him the problem uh, is only my football. Okay. Well, so what's his future at Chelsea then? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It depends uh, on the club. It's up to him, I think. Uh, I don't know. Okay.